We're going to begin our talk about the unit circle with looking at a circle that is not a unit circle. Okay, this is a circle of radius 5 superimposed on the Cartesian coordinate system, and here's its equation. And uh, the definition of an angle of one radian, that is, if I take a ray here and extend it out, and this angle is one radian, one RAD, okay, then one radian subtends an arc length on a circle of length of one radius. So this length is one, uh, excuse me, five, R is five, right, is five units, all right? So a, a radian, an angle of one radian will subtend the circle of length, the arc length of one radius. And the radius here we know to be five, R equals five. All right, so if I were to go one and a half radians like this, an angle of 1.5 radians, then my arc length starting here all the way back, okay, would be 1.5 times five or 7.5 units. And so this gives us a nice um, formula for arc length. Our arc length, equals um, the length of the radius times theta, as long as theta is in radians, not in degrees. This will not work for degrees. Okay. Now, suppose this were a unit circle. In other words, suppose we said, all right, let's make this one, okay? And now we have radius one. Now it's one unit, if we go one radian, we have one unit, and if we have one and a half radians, okay, it's going to be one and a half units. Then, if it's the unit circle, for the unit circle, I'll put it right here, unit circle, this arc length formula gets much simpler. It's arc length equals theta, and that's it. And so we're gonna use this in the uh, next video of this idea, both these ideas in the next video. We're going to examine the unit circle. And this, of course, I changed it to a unit circle. Now it's r theta, but r is only one, so it's just theta. Whatever, whatever the, in other words, if this were pi over six, excuse me, pi over three, let's say. I'm sorry, pi over six, 30 degrees, right? <laughs> Looks like about a 30 degree. If this were pi over six, then this distance would be pi over six units, which is about the, Pi is about three, and, um, so that's about one half. So this is a very convenient formula on the unit circle, and also this one's a good one too.